I noticed Mr. Gates, who took you on first, uh, is not here now. And that's unfortunate because he is living testament to the fact and direct evidence that you have not weaponized the Justice Department. He was investigated for sex trafficking, and while many expected a prosecution, you chose not to prosecute this very active Republican. Is, is that true? You did not prosecute him? I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not sure how much, what is in the public record and what's not, so I'm just not going to comment on that. Looks like the GOP strategy to somehow convince people that the DOJ has been weaponized against their favorite felon is going to put Matt Gates' scandal back into the spotlight. As far as weaponization of the department goes, um, did the Justice Department indict Senator Menendez? It's a matter of public record, yes. And he's a Democrat, isn't he? Um, I'm assuming the answer is yes. And Henry Cuellar, Justice Department indicted him. He's a Democrat too, yeah, isn't he? It's a matter of public record. So you've prosecuted Democrats, and as we speak, Hunter Biden, who is a, the son of the president, is under trial uh, in, in Delaware. And that, so it, it, you haven't weaponized the Justice Department in terms of hiding and protecting Democrats Menendez, Cuellar, and Hunter Biden. The, the Justice Department follows the facts and the law. We prosecute like cases alike, and we make decisions about different cases in different ways. We do not allow the political party or the ethnicity or the religion or the race or the uh, 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 wealth uh, or the influence of uh, someone we're investigating to make a difference in our charging decisions. Congressman Cohen pointed out that Gates had already scampered out of the hearing before anyone got the chance to bring up how the weaponized DOJ didn't prosecute him. It could have been to avoid sitting there while those shots were being taken, or maybe it was because his grilling of Garland came up pretty empty. Now, will the Department of Justice provide to the committee all documents, all correspondence between the department and Alvin Bragg's office and Fonnie Willis's office and Letitia James's office? The offices you're referring to are independent offices of state. I get of, that. I get that. State. The question is whether or not you will provide all of your documents and correspondence. That's the question. It's, I, I don't need a, a history lesson. Well, I'm going to say again, we do not control those offices. They make yeah, their the own decisions. The question is whether decisions. you communicate with them, not whether you control them. Do you communicate with them and will you provide those communications? You make a request. We'll refer it to our Office of Legislative but, Affairs. But see, here's the thing. They you come in here and you lodge this attack that it's a conspiracy theory that there is coordinated lawfare against Trump. And then when we say, fine, just give us the documents, give us the correspondence, and then if it's a conspiracy theory, that will be evident. But when you say, well, we'll take your request, and then we'll, we'll sort of work it through the DOJ's accommodation process, then you're actually advancing the very dangerous conspiracy theory that you're concerned about. Gates knows that the DOJ isn't going to chase after their completely baseless accusations about a biased system by wasting more time to give them all their correspondence. He exposed his plan by explaining it. If you don't give us proof against our completely unfounded allegations, you're proving the point that you guys were colluding. Mr. Attorney General, last week it was reported that House Ethics Panel subpoenas DOJ for Gates records. It was a May 14, 2024 political piece. I'd like to submit it to the record. I just want to get this straight. Mr. Gates wants the Attorney General to reopen and publicize evidence from an investigation that a Donald Trump-appointed prosecutor closed against President Biden, while at the same time, Mr. Gates himself is being protected by the same DOJ policy that is refusing to voluntarily turn over evidence from Mr. Gates's sex trafficking investigation. It's like they never consider the fact that Democratic Congress people know how the system works and that what Gates thinks he's proving can easily be torn down with the circumstances of his own evasion of the law. It'd be so much easier and closer to his job description, by the way, to strategize ways to make American taxpayers' lives better rather than coming up with new ways to trick them into voting for him. They can't do it because they don't offer voters anything beneficial to their lives. They've said so themselves. Another member of Congress resigned today. So now I'll be told, Chip, we only have a one-seat majority or two-seat majority. I don't even know what it is anymore. Let me ask you a question. Does it matter? In 2018, we had the House, we had the Senate, we had the White House, and we had a bigger majority than we have today, and we utterly failed to secure the border. Totally dropped the ball, didn't do it.
That's, <laughs> we have nothing. In my opinion, we have nothing to go out there and campaign on, Chris. It's embarrassing. Right. Well, I know the Republican Party, the Republican Party in the Congress, of the majority has zero accomplishments. Now, of course, this place just keeps going downhill and, and I don't need to spend my time here. We've taken impeachment and we've made it a, a social media issue as opposed to a, a constitutional concept. Mike Johnson's ability to talk me into staying here is going to be about as successful as his ability into talking me into unconstitutional impeachments. Republican voters across the country are sick and tired of Republicans because they never do anything. We can't blame Joe Biden and the Democrats for why the Republican-controlled House of Representatives hasn't passed single subject spending bills. One thing. I want my Republican colleagues to give me one thing, one, that I can go campaign on and say we did. One.